Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to insert records into database using Ajax jQuery. Before insert this record, let's check in the table browse. Right now this table contains zero rows. Let's insert records. Insert record. See here we got a message record inserted successfully. Click OK. Let's check in the database, browse and here we got the results that Charan employee details is inserted successfully in this EMP table using Ajax jQuery methodology. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in PHP, First, we'll create a new table in MySQL PHP My Admin database. The sample DB database is my user database. I want to create a new table in this sample DB. I'm explaining that one. Tables. I'm, I'm selecting the SQL tab. Create table, EMP table. EMP ID which is integer data type not null I'm adding auto increment column as well as its primary key ename varchar 50 email varchar 250 and salary which is the integer type let's create a table click go and the table is created successfully and you can notice in the sample db database and the tables folder the emp table is here let's browse the table right now this emp table contains zero rows now let's insert records into this table using php with ajax jquery technology I'm using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Now in this new one page, I'm adding PHP code to insert records. PHP. Now inside this PHP, the first thing I'm adding my connection objects. Dollar host name is equals to localhost. Dollar DB name is equals to my database name is sample db. Let's add that one. Dollar username. The username is root, and the last one password. Notice the password is blank because I don't have any password to log into my SQL PHP my admin database. If you have any password, please enter that one. After adding the connection string variables, now now I'm adding dollar con is equals to my SQLI underscore connect method. Now in this connect method, I'm adding these variables: host name, the first one. The second one is a username. The third one is a password and the last one is the database name if not dollar call which means if the connection is failed I want to display the message time method connection failed dot my SQL underscore connect underscore error method after that I'm adding SQL query to insert the records dollar SQL query is equals to the SQL query is the insert state insert into the table name is EMP table column names the 
rename email and salary rename email and salary values so the here we are and the values let's declare the variables here at the top dollar rename is equals to dollar underscore post between single quotes rename dollar email is equals to dollar underscore post between single quotes the next one is a email dollar salary is equals to dollar underscore post meta which is a salary let's add these variables in this values between single quotes comma between single quotes the next one is an email comma between single quotes dollar salary if my sqli underscore query method and this method takes two parameters the first one is a connection object dollar con comma and the next parameter is the command text dollar sql query object so once the record is added successfully i want to display the message echo record inserted successfully else echo fail to insert and the last one let's close the connection string my sql underscore close method in this close method i'm adding the connection object dollar con that's it we have written the code to insert the values into emp table let's save this file i'm saving this file in the root folder the records insert jquery dot php let's save the file let's add a new page which is for the html code html i'm adding html code let's close this tag header section i'm closing the header section body let's close the body center tag h1 close the h1 tag how to insert records into mysql php my admin using ajax jquery i'm closing the h2 tag PHP tutorials horizontal line now after the horizontal line I am adding the input text box controls and button controls employee name input type is equals to text ID is equals to here the ID I am adding the e name placeholder enter employee name break the next column is the email employee email The ID I'm changing 
which is this one email and placeholder is enter email id and the last one is a salary let's copy this one the id changing the salary placeholder enter salary break I'm adding button control button type is equal to submit ID is equal to submit I'm closing the button tag the value is insert record let's save this file we'll check the basic output jQuery insert.html save the file let's check the basic output on the browser and here we got the output of that code right now which contains the header tags and three text box controls and one button control okay, let's insert the records into the table using Ajax jQuery functionality so the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN link let's type for latest jQuery Google CDN and from the search results I'm selecting the first one hosted libraries in the Google hosted libraries at the corner there is a contents panel which contains a jQuery select that one and here you can find the different snippets of jQuery versions and selecting the latest version 3.3.1 let's copy this snippet and add in our header section after that I'm adding the script closing the script tag inside the script I'm adding the Ajax functionality dollar document dot ready function now inside this function I'm adding when I click the button control I want to insert the records so let's add the button ID here hash dot click function I'm declaring a variable name is equals to dollar between single quotes I'm adding the input text box name ID hash name dot val method variable email is equals to dollar between single quotes hash I'm adding the email dot val method let's copy this so here this one is a salary I'm adding the salary ID of the text box now the Ajax functional date to insert the records dollar dot Ajax The first one I'm adding the attribute URL. I'm adding this PHP file name between single quotes, records, insert jQuery.php, comma, the method we are posting the data. Method post data in the data the first one we have to add the column name ename email and salaries ename 
colon name this variable comma email the table column name and this variable email salary column salary let's add the comma here after that I'm adding the success attribute function result alert result and the result is when the records are inserted successfully I want to get this message record inserted successfully in the alert message that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the final output on the browser I'm reloading the browser let's enter employee name Charan Charan at gmail.com salary is 15,000 before insert this record let's check in the table browse right now this table contains zero rows let's insert records insert record see here we got a message record inserted successfully click OK let's check in the database browse and here we got the results the Charan employee details is inserted successfully in this EMP table using Ajax jQuery methodology. That's it.